You know, one thing I like about Nigerians is not about these things that you accuse them about. Julius Malema just explain the reasons why he likes Nigerians. Yes, you heard me correct. The president of EFF, Julius Malema, was addressing the EFF member yesterday in the Eastern Cape. And he gets to explain the reasons why he likes Nigerians and Zimbabweans. In this video, you're going to watch what the president of EFF had said yesterday. Then, we'll have to ask ourselves this question to know whether what he said it makes sense or it does not make sense before we get to charge his words whether it makes sense or not i'm inviting you to watch this video more careful then i'll see you after then you know one thing i like about nigerians is not about these things that you accuse them about a nigerian man if he comes in here and speak you won't doubt that this man has got confidence. So white people refer to them as being rude. That's why in Nigeria you don't find a lot of white people. Because when you speak to them and they don't hear properly, yes, sir. Ah, what do you mean by that? What do you mean? And then you think he's fighting. Like, no, he wants to understand. what He's not fighting. But you... They taught you that if you don't hear, sorry, sir, can you repeat that? So they enjoy that. They enjoy this submissive attitude of a black man because to them you are boys and girls. They don't enjoy a person who speak standing firm, looking right into their eyes and unshaken. That's what we should be. That's what we should be. We must be. And that thing comes out of liberating the mind. But if the mind becomes permanent weapon at the disposal of the oppressor, you will never do anything. You will continue to think less of yourself. We, we, you ought to liberate yourself. You cannot be EFF and still be sheepish. Once you join the EFF, it's a first step of mental liberation that I am not my ancestor. I am a generation now which will never take what my ancestors took from you. I will never tolerate that. So, they don't hate Malema. They are all shocked by this black man who can speak to them like that, who can speak like that, who can confront them like that, because all blacks must be submissive. And when they paralyze you, they even come and then patronize you. That no, you are better than them. Those of you who even speak in that accent of theirs, yo, you even speak better than them. But I always get shocked that you say you don't want these colonial people, you want to be African, but you speak like Sir Ramaphosa. You can't speak like a person that you hate. You can't. You can't say, I hate these white people. They've oppressed us. They took everything from us. And then from there, you want to speak like them. Only in South Africa do we do that. You can go anywhere in the continent, including Zimbabwe, where they are educated better than us. They've got no accent. They've got Zimbabwean accent. They don't have this thing of yours because they've never seen themselves in the image of a white man. They saw themselves in the image of an African man and accepted education as a form of liberation, not as a way of mimicking the colonialist and the imperialist. Because some of you confuse being educated to be meaning, I must talk like these white people. Otherwise, I am not educated. 
So, when we speak about a liberated man, it's a man who knows who she is and who he is. But once you've got a doubt about yourself, you will never liberate anyone. Because you are not liberated yourself. Now that you have watched the whole video, the question remains is, what the president of EFF Julius Malema had said, does it really make sense to you or not? Because I know that we always have something bad to say about Nigerians and Zimbabweans on how they do this, how they do that. But after listening to what the president of EFF Julius Malema had said, do you think that it is all about what we've been accusing them or is there at least something good we can copy about these beautiful African nations. Well, I'm leaving that to you as a question, but before we get even to develop more, I want to say that in this life, they always say, in order for you to love someone, you must be able to have a, a close blind eye on some of the things. So you must learn on how to see and appreciate also the good side of these people. You can't just keep on saying that, ah, it's bad about this. You have done this. You have done that. You have done that. Instead, it is better to always see also the good doing. And if it happened that Nigerians, Zimbabweans, or any other African countries, if they are having something which is beautiful that we can imitate as a black child, I believe we have to do so. Because that is how we'll end up becoming even a, a strong nation. Because we are applying things which are very important. Back to the video, Malema tried to describe the difference between Nigerians, Zimbabweans, and South Africans. And he gave a very simple illustration, which I believe most of you already, as you were watching this video, you did agree with Malema. Because, have you seen how we get to speak to our bosses at the place of work? Even our, like, best, you know what I mean, right? Because I'm not here to mentioning people, names, or whatsoever, but let's just say your boss, who's different color than yours. Do you see the way you guys talk? The way you guys you communicate? Sometimes, even when you are more clear with your own conscience, knowing that what my boss is doing right now is not good, you prefer to keep your mouth shut. You can't even help him to understand that what you're not doing, I mean, what you're doing is not good. Do you know why? Because you are afraid of him. Someone can come even try to violate your own rights. Instead of you trying to stand up on your own feet and try to make them understand on how to respect your rights, you keep quiet. All because you've been taught so. People today, we get to say that, no, we are in the democracy country. We had our freedom in 1990, 1990, blah, blah, blah. Yet, morally, mentally, we still slave. And you get to see even the way we communicate with these people. And that is how they want it. That is how they like it. That is the reason why even... Even when they get to speak, they don't open their mouth. They'll speak something small and yana like this. And you, as a black child, you have to go and pay attention to them. Excuse me, excuse me, boss. Uh, what, what, what did you say? So you have to approach that person and pay attention. But Malema here, just give a very simple example, which we all know, about Nigerians. Have you seen how those dudes uh, talk on the street? You ask yourself and wonder whether they are fighting or not. Because their voices always be louder. But they are just talking. So they kind of like, they can intimidate you with their voice only. And this kind of people, they are, they are indeed a real threat 
to those kind of people who like to to be worship mm -hmm. because when you get to see the way nigerian talk looking into your face like <laughs> you know <laughs> so these people the way they sound like that it is a way of them trying to tell you that i'm not afraid of you speak open your mouth speak louder so that i can get to hear what you are saying and i will respond back to you so here i think what malema said or the example that malema gave here it really makes sense to me it really make makes sense Beside that, Malema spoke about Zimbabweans with English accent. That's why I always laugh at people sometimes. We are having our own languages, which we're supposed to be proud of. Communicating, doing so. That is not a problem. When someone, speak, uh, when someone is speaking a broken English such as mine, they call you names. They judge you. All because of your English accent. Mm -hmm. we, I, I myself, I get that a lot. People get to judge you because of your English accent. Then I look, some of the people who does that, I always laugh. Because that is how you get to see how small-minded we are. How slave we still in our mind. Because when you get to criticize someone because they speak a broken English without a proper accent, you're forgetting that. We have South Africans all over around the world. And these South Africans are giving birth. To their children what about those who are in france those south africans who were born and raised in france in france they don't speak french i mean they don't speak english they speak french so that kind of child the moment they come back home you don't expect them to speak this local language or a proper english or whatsoever they have to learn in order for them to start speaking it properly. So are we going also to call them names? Because Malema here gave a very easy example of Zimbabwean. People who apparently they are very intelligent and they have studied a lot. And it is true, they did study a lot. The time when our parents are supposed to be going to school studying is the time when they were being treated in a very bad way during the apartheid regime. And most of them, they were in exile. So they did not have time to go to school. And we all know that the history is there. It's only this generation of ours after 1994. That is when we start going to school. So when Malema says that Zimbabweans they had studied a lot than us. We should, have, we should believe it is true. But yet, their English still have their own accent. They don't need to imitate some people who come from somewhere and come and impose their language on you. That is a problem of mentality. That is sure. It actually, it's even giving... Uh, giving Malema uh, the reason why he have to come and have this kind of conversation with people. Because sometimes I think we need to educate ourselves. Yes. Because the more we get to educate ourselves, we'll be able to understand a lot of things out there. Especially about life and Africa history. So, what we should understand from all this is that Malema did something which is very important. He need to waken the black child mind. Conscience. He want to put the black child in scent of everything. To get to understand that you are you. 
and not anyone else. You have to do it for yourself and for your future generation to come. You can't say that you have that freedom, yet here you're still a slave. You can't even talk, respond back. He even gave, uh, he gave the example of himself saying that they are not having problem of the name of Malema. Instead, they are having problem with the person inside Malema. Because that person is trying to challenge them and tell them the truth. And that, I believe, it really makes sense. So I hope this video, it will be more useful to you. To make you realize that you are your own leader. And you are your own liberator morally and mentally so you need to do something about it you must know about all this that is the reason why i have to come and give you also my point of view thank you so much for watching i'll see you again in our next video but before you leave make sure that uh, you give me your thumbs i'll really do appreciate for now continue to be yourself be good be kind have respect for everyone in order for you to be respected may god bless you all i'll see you again very soon ciao ciao